guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my filming room i've just realized it's going to be a bit echoey in here because i have zero furniture and i still have scraps of old carpet protecting the workmen that need to come in and just finish off a few electrics and things but we are so close to being moved upstairs that this video i thought why not just sit down in here and film so this is the first video i am filming in our my filming room and today we are getting a little bit festive i've headed down to all of the home bargain stores basically so predominantly b m and home bargains i have within this haul but i do have a few other little bits to show you from like supermarkets and other shops but predominantly i'm going to say it's b m before we jump into the haul i want to kind of do a little bit of announcement a little bit of reaching out to any small businesses out there i briefly mentioned on my instagram any small businesses that you guys think i should include whether you are the owner of a small business yourself and want to be included or whether you want to recommend a friend or family member who has a small business for me to reach out to them and maybe collaborate with them on another small businesses gift guide that I'm going to do this year. I have already been purchasing a few things myself. I've been sent a few things myself. So I'm accumulating a, a few items from small businesses that want to be included in my gift guide this year. I really loved filming the one that I did last year. If you want to be included, reach out to me on Instagram if you can, so that I can properly message you and speak to you about it. I'm looking to film my gift guides in the first week or two of November. So Hopefully this gives you enough time to prep in advance if you do want to be included and if you want to promote your small business this year in my small businesses Christmas gift guide. That was a bit of a mouthful. So if you haven't already, make sure you're set, relaxed, cozy, feet up, drink of choice in hand. I'm gonna go for this this morning. It is morning by the time I'm filming this. It's actually a Sunday morning and we're about to go on a nice long dog walk and some food. Good Sunday that, isn't it? So I thought I would ooh, start my day with a nice Starbucks drink. So they have their new Merry Coffee. It says Starbucks Cafe Lattes that you can get. These ones are from Asda. And they're so, oh my God, this is a throwback to living in America. I used to buy these all the time, except they were in the glass bottles. They are very sweet, but delicious. Love them. And I'm just desperately trying to find a place to not spill it on the new carpet. I'm gonna put it over here on this old scrap carpet there so that any casualties, we're good, we're safe. Okay, let's start with B&M, why not? I have actually touched on B&M Christmas stock before in my previous B&M video, uh, but I have definitely splurged on all the Christmas section this time around, and I definitely have my eyes peeled on a few more things, so. Stay tuned for more content from B&M because I think they are killing it this year with their Christmas ranges. They have loads of different kind of sectioned off areas, a bit like the range do in terms of like color blocking so that you can head straight to your color theme. I love that. Anyway, Christmas gift wrap. They had these bags in at only one pound and it is my first Christmas with a puppy. So of course I'm gonna absolutely spoil him rotten. It is actually his birthday in November 1st though, so not on November 1st, in November 1st. So he will be turning one on the 22nd of November. So I decided to get this for Christmas to put away. I just think it's so cute and I'm gonna fill that with a whole load of goodies for him. I'm also gonna be getting him a sack full. Don't you worry about that. Myself and Barney will most likely be at my family's for Christmas. Tom actually might be away with his mum. So I decided to pick this up for Barney. It's kind of like a Christmas prezi slash something that I'm gonna take with us to my parents' house for him to sleep on. It's this luxury travel mat. Now I do actually have one for him that I got from Amazon, which is nice, but this is really nice. I love the kind of check pattern. It's very country vibes, kind of barber barber vibes he's even got a little barber bandana so it's actually a small one i might even treat him to a, a larger one if i can find one for him for christmas this year but anyway 12 pounds this was and it's got the luxury kind of cheap skin kind of cozy fabric on the middle i also picked up these for tom's nieces we tend to get them a few presents every christmas and i decided to go with these from b&m because they have the initials on and they're also super luxurious they're gray velvet they've got the white 
um, initial. They did have red ones as well, which I was very tempted for. These are seven pounds each. I really need to get out the Christmas decorations down in the in the storage in the basement so that I know what I've got because I've completely forgotten. But I decided to get just one on this occasion because I do think we have a couple, and I thought maybe Barney could have one like hung up on the mantelpiece or something. Four pounds. This one is, and it's one of these faux fur stockings it's quite a small well i'd say that's smallish stocking so honestly more for decoration i think but it does have the loop that you can hang on a mantelpiece or a door and fill with prezzies anyway but also i thought this would be quite a good idea to maybe use as like a kind of gift bag to gift someone you know if you prefer to get rather than just one gift that you wrap up and give to someone if you prefer to get maybe a couple of little bits but then you need a gift bag I just thought this would be a nice alternative to a gift bag at only four pounds. And then it's something they can reuse and keep themselves. Oh my goodness, this bag is full of Christmas goodies. Okay, they've got these tumblers in. I think I've got a matching mug in here somewhere. I'll show you in a sec, but two pounds these ones are. And they have this kind of almost Scandy style Christmas tree, just black Christmas tree with the odd li little gold one. I think there's only three gold ones and then the gold rim. I just think they're fab. For two pounds they have these from the comfort and joy range at one pound fifty little I, I suppose tree ornaments but you could definitely just use these as decorative pieces they're cute little reindeers i think they had another shape as well but i just went for the reindeer it's just a little white wooden reindeer at one pound fifty and then they have these bigger snowflake ones i love the fact that they come on a jute ribbon lay it flat with a candle on top maybe that would look cute for some christmas baking i thought these were fun at only a pound you get 24 cupcake toppers merry christmas that's the one i particularly like i've shown this ribbon previously but i decided to pick up another one just because i love it so much these are three for five pounds they're christmas ribbons so this one that I repurchased is this Merry Christmas rose gold kind of champagne gold ribbon. And these ones are kind of like velvet and a shimmery one, but no glitter because glitter can be an absolute nightmare. I also picked up this for Christmas baking from the Betty Winters Home Baking Range Gold Christmas Edible Decorations. They had some with all different colours as well, like reds and greens. I just opted for the golds and silvers. And then a Christmassy cleaning product now I have from Sif. This is a limited edition Sif cream in winter sparkle. The kind of cinnamons, the cloves, the pines, love all of that. So this is just one of the Sif creams, but in that sense. I also picked up these three pack of cookie cutters, only two pound. They also had, I think it was stars with the red outer silicon lining i just went for the christmas trees on this occasion kind of regretting not getting the stars because i suppose stars are good for all year round i also picked up a christmas minky i thought i could get Barney a little christmas eve jumper so, i mean i'm purely doing this for an instagram pic i don't think he'll want to wear this for very long but this is six pound they had so many halloween costumes they had loads of festive jumpers and it's just a bit of fun isn't it if ever you go to like a family christmas jumper party or wear christmas matching pjs on christmas eve the dog can get involved too it is not christmas until you bring out the bad boys i decided to go for the proper tin they had the plastic ones but i just there's something about the metal tin that's a bit more nostalgic so I decided to pick this one up. I think these are about seven pounds. I also picked up another one of these, which I've previously shown in a video. I actually have one in the kitchen currently. It's the Evergreen Wax Melts. And honestly, if you're a pine-scented lover, so good. And they're only one pound fifty. I also got some more Christmas chocolate. This one, I mean, just you wait for the rest of this haul because I have plenty of Christmassy snacks. This one is the Winter Orange Edition. I've never seen this one. I think it's new this year. And we love a bit of orange chocolate. I also got this as a decorative piece that we could pop out in our kitchen at Christmas. It is a little fluted... Oh, God, I nearly dropped it. A little fluted jar with a star top. I think they had Christmas tree toppers as well. And this was £4. It comes with a little wooden decorative thing as well. I don't know what to put in this. Let me know any suggestions. Maybe some Christmassy chocolates, like some quality street. I also picked up another box of these, which I've previously shown. I actually got sent a pack of these from the Comfort and Joy range, again, at four pounds. They remind me of the ones that H&M do, and I particularly love the cream ones, so I decided to get another box. 
I also think green looks quite good on a Christmas tree because it's subtle, it's not a colour because the tree's green anyway. Well, at least our tree's gonna be green. I think we might be getting a balsam hill one this year. And to go with it, a tree skirt. So again, I've shown this previously, but in gray, B&M actually very kindly sent me it. However, I prefer the white, you guys know me. Of course, when I saw it, I had to pick it up at eight pounds. And what I'll do is I'll probably end up just giving the gray one to like family or friends or something or donating it. But I had to get the white one for myself. It's just more my style. I actually really love the wooden ones. I remember buying one last year from the range and it didn't fit our tree. So if we do get a new tree I want to make sure that I know the diameter of the bottom and make sure that a wooden wicker thing will fit otherwise this always fits so even if we have a second tree somewhere in the future we've always got a little faux fur tree skirt okay this is the mug that I was talking about that kind of matches the tumbler from that same winter woods range £2.50 and it's cream with the black trees and gold kind of sparkles on it I feel like this is a good hot chocolate size I feel like it's the season for cozy drinks, loads of squirty cream on top. So with that, you need a big mug. Oh, some yummy snacks. I got these, in fact, I think I got some more of these. Pigs in blanket flavored crisps. I also got a wreath over door hook at £1.50. I got the gold one, they also had silver and then I spotted white after I'd already bought the gold. So, I mean, gold will be nice. It'll go with my decor, so I'm gonna stick with that. I also found this from Sif, again, in that limited edition winter sparkle scent. This is just a multi-purpose disinfectant spray that you can, um, it's a safer food preparation area. You can use kitchen and all over, really. It's just a good all-rounder. I saw this and I was like, is that B&M? I mean, I'm in B&M, but it looks really nice. And it's very simple but very effective I think. It's just a little glass bottle. Hold on, I've shimmied out the matches and I shouldn't have done that because now they won't go back in. Okay, well that looks so untidy and that's bugging me. But just imagine what it looked like before I shimmied them around and shouldn't have done that. So it's from the Willow and Bay range that they have in B&M now and it's just a little glass bottle with some white tipped matches. I do actually have a bigger glass jar of this with white matches from Zara Home. So what I might do is use these ones up first and then go on to my Zara Home ones. It's got the little kind of scratch pad on the bottom and this is definitely something that I would have, I mean, neaten it up first, have out on display next to a candle. The only problem with these I could literally down them in a second. Okay, last B&M bag now. We have a little festive Christmas toy, pet toy in the top. I'll just, I mean, like I said, I'm doing a sack full of gifts for him this year and that gift bag full. So £3.50, this is a Christmas rope toy. I think he'll like this one because he loves tug of war. I think that is his favorite kind of toy is tug of war toys apart from his ikea dog that beloved dog i was almost tempted to just get a sack full of like five big ikea dogs he would be made up with that um but yeah it does have a squeaker in it as well and then i also picked up this one which is more of a cuddly one it does have a squeaker as well this one is three pound fifteen it's called the pet cuddle chum from the winter paws range how adorable is this? Yeah, I thought I got some more of these flavors. I thought um, I'd try them all out. So turkey and stuffing, these are good for like Christmas day or if you're hosting any time around Christmas, Boxing Day, Christmas Eve, just to have it out. Honey glazed ham as well. So all the festive flavors. I picked up another 1001 carpet fresh. Now we have brand new carpets. This is the Frosted Winter Berries Limited Edition one. I also picked up this to go in our downstairs loo. Now, to be completely honest with you, now that we have these toilets upstairs that are far nicer, we just will rarely use the downstairs loo, but tradesmen and builders will when they're renovating all the downstairs. So, I still wanna keep it somewhat fresh and nice. So, I thought I would pop this um, little kind of air freshener in there. It's the Airwick Mistletoe and Pine Scent, which I don't think I've ever had before. And then lastly, I got this from, again, the Betty Winters Home Baking Range. This is more for like Halloween. We have the Ghost Cupcake Kit. This is what I always refer to as my lazy baking and they're gone in a day because I think it makes six. Yeah, it makes six, but they're really diddy. That's that. That is everything that I got from b &M. Let's move on to Home Bargains now. If I seem out of breath, it's because I just had to run downstairs and open the door for a parcel, but anyway. Home bargains, I don't know where to begin. I have a few bags. I'm gonna show you this one first because this is so soft, luxurious. I had all intentions of maybe getting this to throw on the sofa or over do dog's bed, 
over Barney's dog bed to just make it a little cosier. However, it almost seems too nice to do that. So now that we've renovated up here, I might have it like in the filming room. Honestly, it's so cosy. This is from the Loft range. I hate the fact that I don't have prices on anything. Oh, here we go, $8.99 this one was. I also picked up this whitewash wick hamper. Now, usually you can get the hamper like packs with the cellophane and the ribbon and the stuffing which is great but if you just want the hamper itself they do have them slightly cheaper from home bargains where you can just pick up the hamper because i even thought this would make just a good storage basket within the house like in the in one of the bathrooms or in kitchen pantry utility whatever i also picked up this which i've had this last year and it's lovely it actually lasted me a really long time so dove is like super moisturizing this is their limited edition restorative winter ritual body wash great generous size and it does smell lovely it's super creamy and moisturizing i also got some more stocking bits for barney this is one of these like pedigree stockings that they have with a few different it they work out slightly cheaper and than if you were to buy them all individually and they're obviously in a christmas stocking so good for christmas day i saw this gift back and there's something about it that i just love it's only 69p and it's a bottle bag but can you see it's kind of like a letterbox with the little special wishing you a special delivery contents love and joy and this kind of label just pops in there I just love it i really really like it i'm kind of regretting not picking up more of these i saw this wax melt burner and it's a cute little festive one with the star on but also the scent of the wax melts that come with it are in silver birch so again if you like that kind of woody piney christmas tree scent the little wax melts are even in little star shapes as well so yeah great little gift idea i can't wait to do my gift guides any suggestions of good gift guide ideas let me know so i also picked up this range of scents from febreze in the let it snow so it's vanilla noir limited edition so i got the actual room spray and then i also picked up the plugins i'm really loving these plugins at the minute they just work there's nothing worse than buying a home fragrance product and it just not working you can't even smell it i also picked up this domestos uh toilet block thing in winter sparkle i did actually pick up some more of these let me see if i can find them in um just plain white which is far more aesthetically pleasing than a big block of bright orange so i'm going to pop this one in the downstairs loo for the builders and then keep this one in our brand new fresh upstairs toilets just because they are white simple they're less of an eyesore limited edition though so it says trend up your modern fresh home five pack I also picked up this multi-purpose disinfectant cleaner from Sephora. It's one of their diluted spray bottles. They are cheaper than the standalone Sephora. This one is in the winter spice scent. Now, alert for Sephora lovers. If you haven't already seen on their Instagram, they have released a new scent. I think it's called Fur Needle and Amber. I need to get my hands on that. Anyone out there, if you spot that scent, let me know where it is and I'm straight down to that store to go and buy it. And now I have the luxury, the absolute luxury of having a bath. Yes, I now have a bath. Um, I decided to treat myself to some new bath salts. And these ones are in the scent Peppermint Joy, Peppermint and Green Apple. I need to get like a bath tray, I wanna kind of dress it up. Maybe pop a little pot with a scoop or something of bath salts so that they're white, they look nice, and they also smell nice. But then I'll probably use the fresh ones from here to actually pop in the bath, <laughs> rather than the ones that are sat out on display collecting dust. But yeah, nonetheless, I just thought, I mean, peppermint apple will smell lovely. I also got another one of these for Barney from the Pedigree range. I mean, Pedigree is a real treat, isn't it? Because it's one of those slightly more affordable brands that I think dogs go crazy for. So uh, he seems to anyway. He loves the Jumbones and them rodeo twister stick things. So that has both of them as well as a dentist stick as well. These aren't exactly the most festive products. In fact, they're not festive at all, but I saw them and liked them nonetheless. This was only $2.99 for a mahoosive jar, and I loved the fact that it had the... Ooh, that was a fairly good click. 
the gold clasp. Also got this again, not really festive, but I've seen a few people uh, share this on Instagram and it's one of these bamboo coffee cups, but the aesthetic of that, if you're an aesthete, I think that's what we call ourselves, you like aesthetically pleasing things that match your home decor and everything, then beige is very much me. And how nice is that? It's like all monotone, little coffee cup, travel, reusable cup, love that. And again, it was like a quid, so cheap. I also picked up some Christmas cards. Now I do have some more Christmas cards to show you. I bought these ones beforehand, prefer the others. So these are gonna be the backup cards. So if you get one of these, you're last on my family members list. I'm only joking, I'm only joking. I like to have a variety of Christmas cards so that not everyone gets the same one. Does anyone else like that? Only 99p, I like the fact that these are in aid of NSPCC. I always look out for charity cards as well. Just gonna run through some festive snacks I picked up, the Reese's trees, I got the white ones as well. Give those ones to Tom, these ones for me. I you can pop them in his stocking. And then I also got this toasted marshmallow flavored popcorn. They have the gingerbread one as well, which is also lovely. I also picked us up some hot chocolates. Again, I might even do a little Christmas Eve box or something for us both to open and pop these in them. And also these, these are instant hot chocolates. You get, oh, you only get, Oh, you get two, you get two in each. Oh, this one's a bit of me, this one's more Tom, I think. This one's just two hot chocolate sticks with mini marshmallows in the kind of festive pack. And this one, sounds amazing, with mini marshmallows and apple crunch sprinkles. I also got some turkey with sage and onion flavored crisps. I love these crunch creams from Foxes, these biscuits, like with a coffee, and they now do a seasonal edition of sticky toffee pudding. These Flips gingerbread flavored coated pretzels. I mean, I've got all the Christmas snacks. And if you know, you know. I also picked up one last little toy for Barney. This is for his birthday. I'm gonna pop together a couple of little toys for him in the kind of theme of dinosaur, seeing as though he's Barney the friendly dinosaur. And I decided to pick up this green one, it's a squeaker, to go with this little green dinosaur that I bought him. And I think I got these from Pound Stretcher. I also got this one as well. A little, seems that it's his first birthday. He's having his first move and champion rather than Moet. I always wanna say Moe but apparently it is Moet. And then I think I might get him a little birthday cake. I mean, it's purely for the gram, but I'm that dog mum. Hate me if you want, I don't care. Okay, let's show you the other Christmas cards that I got that I was talking about. These are from Card Factory and they have them on offer. Three for two, I just love the kind of luxury feel to these. They are the more premium ones. I mean, they have loads of amazing budget ones, but these ones are, £4.49 for a box of 12. Again, they are charity cards. They also have a, another design, which says there on the back. So especially for you. And again, kind of festive village. I just love that. These ones were slightly cheaper because they're smaller, £3.49. So this is the box that I got free. And I loved the kind of front door design. I want my front door to look like that. That is, to me, front door goals. I really want a black front door with a massive gold knocker and post box. And a big Christmas wreath on it, just like that. And then the second design is just a stack of prezzies. And then the last box that I got are a kind of, I mean, they're the same size as the first one. They're like a festive tree with some gold flecks. And then the second design, is a Christmas wreath. And then Hobbycraft, I know I've already shown so many Christmas bits from Hobbycraft because they are amazing. I found yet again, more Christmas things. And this one in particular, I do have a autumn wreath up, which I think I'm gonna just switch out. Cause I love, I, I like it, but I don't love it. So I'm gonna switch out to this one cause I feel like this is just so simple yeah effective and a definite autumn themed one you know when it's kind of verging on christmas and you're thinking oh are the neighbors thinking i'm going mental putting my christmas wreath up in october september october no no it's an autumn one don't worry there's going to be a change at christmas this is only 15 pounds and i love it they also have these linen pure linen stockings how simple but nice these i guess with hobbycraft the idea is that you're always meant to DIY it, craft it, make them, I don't know, judge them up. I just like plain and simple white ceramic things that they do, the linen jute hanging things that they do. So yeah, I actually picked up quite a few because I thought again, these would be good to gift people's Christmas things within. So instead of getting a gift bag at a few pounds, 
You can get yourself a linen stocking for just a pound. These were only one pound each, so I picked up five. And then I also got these, which again, I thought would be a good little crafty DIY thing to do. If you want a bit of luxury on your Christmas table, rather than a standard cracker, I got the plain and simple brown paper. They also had them in white. But I thought the brown paper looked a little bit nicer. The little ribbon that ties them together is silver. Switch that out for a black velvet. And then they're a fill your own bauble, uh, bauble cracker. So you could put little mini Jo Malone samples in there or Le Mer, like luxury skincare or beauty. If you're going to like a girl's party or hosting a girl's thing, or even customize them to if you've got boy, girl, boy, girl, by having specific products that you're buying for each person and maybe write their name on the front or like do a little label and hang it on. And that's kind of your table place setting. I just thought that was really good. Five pound these, these ones are. And then at only 50p, they had some bottle bags, pack of five, 50p for a pack of five bottle bags. They are plain black, which like I said, most people would just go boring. I quite like this simple look. I think I might go for a predominantly brown wrapped Christmas gift theme this year for wrapping you know with some black velvet ribbons some green velvet ribbons maybe a bit of sprig of eucalyptus or mistletoe in there these are the other bits that i got from asda along with my starbucks drink so they also have the starbucks holiday blend ground coffee for our filter coffee machine and i bought these last year and absolutely loved them they're the toffee nut latte sticks so they're just an instant coffee stick you just literally add hot water and they're so yum and then i popped into the range yesterday and picked up a couple of christmasy bits as well they have all their christmas stuff out so best believe i'll be going back there i just need to check what i've actually already got in my christmas decoration box this bag smells amazing by the way you'll find out in a second why so i got this cute little reindeer felt decorative thing they had some baubles in this kind of felt material as well but i just thought this guy looked so cute i think this was two pounds 49 so these decorations were one pound 49 each and i decided to get one of each shape so let me just untangle them so they're kind of that white company dupe you know where they do a black metal framed star for instance with a little sprig of eucalyptus at the top this is actually something that i think i'm just going to remove the eucalyptus i quite like just the plain white star hand on its own i don't know why i can't get my words out so i decided to pick up the christmas tree one as well which again says merry christmas and lastly the heart shaped one says Merry Christmas. And I also got this plaque, which again says Merry Christmas on this like wooden board. So simple. I quite like these kind of plaque signs just kind of sat on a worktop behind a candle or whatever. £2.69. That's so cheap. Imagine seeing that in home sense for £2.69. It'd be more like 9 99 at least. And then last but not least at $4.99 they have loads of potpourri at different scents i went for the fragranced pine cone they've got little kind of hessian stars cinnamon sticks i tend to just refresh them with the white company scent though the fir tree scent you know the oil that they get i just pop a little bit of that on that's everything from the range i also popped into tesco's the other day for food shop and whilst i was there I picked up these two which i thought i put put to one side to show you this febreze bathroom air freshener i love these they do um go pretty quick but they do smell really nice in small bathrooms that's when how i use them anyway in fresh pine tree i'm pretty sure they did the apple one last year but they didn't do the pine tree so yeah i picked that one up and then i also spotted these capsules which are compatible with my machine from starbucks the limited edition holiday blend and then last but not least aldi had a few bits oh my god i totally forgot i bought these i thought i'd pop them in because they're kind of festive cheddar cheese and onion chutney bites so yum good with a cheese board and then they also have their new scent winter spice complete dupe of the white company winter scent because it is orange cinnamon and clove in their hand wash and hand and nail cream i think we'll fly through these ones though because i do love a good winter spice scent so the last thing i got it's not seasonal at all but from aldi is this wooden 
um, like storage tray they'd call it. I thought this would look good in one of the bathrooms. It's kind of got, yeah, it's got like a little stamped edge. Can you see? Just almost like it's an X crate that's been shipped or something. I just love the tone of this. It's kind of like a mango wood, like that kind of dark ashy. Oh my God, there's a spider in it. Is that a spider? Yeah, that's a spider. Oh, it's moving. That one was $5.99. So that completes my festive haul, predominantly B&M, also home bargains, also a load of miscellaneous shops. That's what we're calling this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you're feeling festive. Don't forget for any small businesses that want to reach out, head over to my Instagram page where you can message me and we can get chatting because I really want to do a big small businesses gift guide video this year. And I also hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, thumbs up if you like this video, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.